So I am freshly back from WrestleMania. I've been back for four or five days. And my buddy David messaged me while I was at WrestleMania. And uh, there's a discount store near him uh, that he had seen this raw ring with a Goldberg figure. Uh, for some reason, it was in the discount store and it kept getting clearance lower and lower. And he actually saw it drop below $25. Um, as you see, the box is open, but he actually investigated everything to make sure all the pieces were there, and they were. So, uh, David, I appreciate you. I will put a link to David's Instagram below if you want to check it out. But I just, there's a lot of stuff with this ring that I didn't anticipate. I thought it was just the ring and the figure. It has, like, ringside table and uh, the stairs and all kinds of cool stuff. Now this thing is really big and I have no idea where I'm going to put it in my house, but I'm going to find a place to put it because I want to set up a pretty cool diorama with the ring. So I thought I would uh, review it for you, show you all the pieces. Um, as Toys R Us's are closing, this thing's going to get cheaper, so I think it might be a good item for you to pick up. So let's check it out, see if it's something you want to add to your collection. So we've got all the components here for the raw WWE ring. Uh, it's a number of pieces, more than I anticipated, so I'm going to need to put this together before I can properly give you a look at it and review it for you. So, it doesn't look too terribly complicated, but it is probably about 20 pieces to put together. So, I'm going to do that right now. I'll show you what it looks like as I put it together, and then we'll come back and we'll talk more about what I think about this ring. Let's do it. Okay, so got the ring built, and uh, I must say this is really nice. Um, it comes with the ringside uh, display tables. It breaks apart so you can put somebody through the announce table. All these different pieces. It has the little monitors in there. Uh, these chairs are nice. I tell you a uh, key, if you're looking for 12th scale things like tables, chairs, Wrestling sets are a really good way to go because they use all that stuff as weapons and so they end up providing it to you in sets like this with some of the figures. So even if you're not that into wrestling, but you would like different things like tables and chairs and shovels and sledgehammers and ladders, uh, wrestling figures are a good, good place to look for that. So uh, even though it was like the already open damage, everything seems to be in order. Um, the lighting feature, you press this button, you can see down the sides here and then the turnbuckles light up. Uh, this turnbuckle doesn't light up for some reason. Maybe it's not supposed to because that's where the stairs go. Um, I'll have to check and see if there's something I can do to fix that. Uh, but everything is here. These little side, these black uh, kind of rim pieces hold the mat down in place. Uh, they can be a little finicky. You can see that one is bowed up even. I'm not sure if you can see that on camera. Uh, it does come with this Goldberg figure, which I think is the only Goldberg WWE Elite figure. And it also comes with these um, kind of snap-on like figure stands that are adjustable and somewhat dynamic. So I think it's so you can do simulate top rope maneuvers. So I have Goldberg out. Uh, here's some other recent figures I've picked up. I got Carl Anderson. I got Jeff Hardy and Scotty Too Hotty. So I wanted to just see what it's like uh, using some of these features. So if we, it looks like it has a peg hole. So if that pegs into their foot, well, all right, which it does. So you can simulate, uh, you know, going for a top rope maneuver, you know, some type of situation like that, I guess. I'm not sure how that looks, but, uh, you know, it, it seems to be holding it pretty good. Um, probably you can do some other 
adjustments. Let's see if I, uh, yeah, so you can tilt it forward to make it look like he's in the middle of a move, for instance. Um, so that works pretty good. Uh, let's see if we can stand it up tall. I'm not sure how effective that really is. Um, it's really the leg joint that, that might have any more issues, but this uh, kind of dynamic stand seems pretty good. Uh, from this side, let's see. You know, maybe you have somebody coming from outside of the ring and you want to do a move to them. Let's see if it is strong enough to, to hold it in place. Uh, I mean, it does. I mean, it, it, you're not going to permanently leave it there. But you could definitely do it for some pictures or to play with. Um, yeah, I mean, it works pretty well. Uh, I think the ring itself just also looks good. You know, you can see like that, Goldberg in the ring. Uh, I do wish there was a way where you could have some mid-ring action, right? You know, so like if you've got the Goldberg spear, if there was a way that you could have them posed correctly. Uh, so, whatever. But, the ropes are interesting. They're strung tight like a guitar. Uh, you know, I'm just overall very impressed with the quality of this thing. Uh, it's going to be great to play with. Uh, again, it's pretty big. I'd say it's about two by two. Two feet by two feet. Um, you know, it's got the stairs. I already mentioned that. You can use those. I know I have another figure that came with an extra one of these ring stand items. Uh, I think it was an Eddie Guerrero uh, Target exclusive Hall of Champions figure came with one. So I'm going to use this as a diorama piece. Um, I don't know how, where, or when, but at some point that's what I'm going to do. So to wrap up, uh, if you can find this on sale, pick it up. It may be worth the full price to you. I don't know that I'd pay $100 for it just because... It's big, not because it's not worth it or not cool. I, I'm going to definitely set up something pretty cool in this. So, thank you for watching the video. Shout out to David again for helping me find this. Uh, please like, share, uh, subscribe to my channel if you're interested, and, and leave me a comment if you like this, what else you'd like to see me do uh, videos on. I do quite a bit of videos across a, a variety of topics, so let me know. I appreciate any feedback I can get. And thank you for watching. Have a good day.